This very well may be one of the funniest Trump stories of all time. It's not Trump himself. This is, you know, him and his people around him, his entire staff, his entire campaign. Um, take a look at this. Trump sparks confusion after announcing press conference at small landscaping firm. President initially said the briefing would be held at major hotel before correcting himself. So Trump tweeted, big press conference at the Four Seasons. Then he deleted it. Then he said, big press conference at Four Seasons Landscaping. Or it was Four Seasons Total Landscaping is, I believe, the name of the business. You see this? Guys, they wanted to do a press conference at the Four Seasons Hotel and one of their people accidentally booked it at Four Seasons Total Landscaping. This is the most appropriate way of all time for the Trump administration to come to an end. It's just so appropriate. It's like you got a whole bunch of idiots who are in over their heads just shouldn't be anywhere near any position of power. That's what this is. By the way, the press conference was just as bonkers as the surrounding situation. Rudy Giuliani's up there. And they did this press conference like right at about the time that all the networks called the race for Joe Biden. And Giuliani was up there like, oh, so now I guess the media declares who the president is. Well, you know what? I don't think they do. Oh, all the networks did it. Oh, okay. At one point he asked, he's like, which networks? And presumably they say every single network. He's like, oh, so all of them did it? <laughs> Just so you understand, the issue here is Trump surrounded by a bunch of morons by a bunch of, you know, con artists. You could argue Trump himself, and Tim Dillon actually describes Trump this way, and I think he's spot on. Trump is arguably the most successful con artist of all time. But he's surrounded by other small-time con artists. And so they're in over their head. And when something like this happens, you realize what the actual dynamic was behind the scenes. Behind the scenes, Trump just outsourced all of the real decisions to the people who he thought were the experts. And this is why he brought in Gary Cohn, Steve Mnuchin, Wall Street people all throughout his cabinet dealing with the economy. When he came to foreign policy, who did he bring in? He brought in John Bolton. He brought in Mike Pompeo, Gina Haspel. These are all neocon war criminals. So, you know, he does this branding thing where he goes out there and it's like MAGA and I'm the, you know, I'm the best, I'm amazing, I'm the outsider, everything's corrupt, I'm not corrupt, I'm going to fix everything, it's going to be amazing. That's what he does. And behind the scenes, he's like, hey, dog, look, I don't know what I'm doing. None of my people know what we're doing. So you guys just do your normal thing and keep everything functioning. And again, he was saying this to neocons and he was saying this to Wall Street people, thinking like, oh, they're the experts, they'll handle everything as I just go around the country and do my rallies and stuff like that. Well, now you see, see, they have moments where the mask slips and you're like, oh, okay, it was amateur hour from day one. Who books four seasons of total landscaping? Like, it didn't give you pause for a second. Whoever booked this, whatever low-level staffer or high-level staffer booked this, like, you didn't think, like, Obviously, this is not what they're referring to. Obviously, they want the Four Seasons. And then, by the way, they came out with some sort of ridiculous excuse like, no, nah, well, I mean, the thing was the place that... It, it, this was right off the highway, and we needed a place right off the highway in order to... Spare me, son. Spare me. <laughs> Absolutely ridiculous. Oh, man. It's just It just really is the most appropriate way for Trump to go out. Started his uh, started his political career going down that uh, that escalator. Ends it 
with a press conference at Four Seasons Landscaping where at some point they committed to it, right? At some point they were like, fuck, we wanted the hotel. We got the landscaping place. It's too late to get the hotel. What do we do? Follow through with it? (laughs) So it looks like this. Oh, it's too perfect. It's too funny.